The human eye can recognize over 10 million different colors. 10 million? That's gonna take forever to write out. Lucky for you, Eddie, we only need three. Red, blue, and yellow. And from those, we can make any color we want. Uh, in theory. But if you guys want to make a whole lot of colors, you're gonna need a massive place to mix them. Well, Teddy, that's where you come in. What do you mean? Today on Test Dummy Science, Eddie and I face off in a painting competition where we explore how colors absorb and reflect light. And we'll be mixing all sorts of colors on Teddy the Test Dummy. Aw, oh, man! I knew I should have called in sick today. The earliest artists were actually cavemen and women who used dirt and water to make different shades of red in their paintings. Hundreds of years later, people were creating deeper shades of red using insects plucked off cactus plants in Mexico. Some of the first blue paints were made from gemstones found in Afghanistan, while other early artists used yellow paints made from the pee of cows who ate lots of mangoes. <laughs> what? You said this was juice! It is juice, Eddie. Today, paints are made from all sorts of different materials, from chemicals to natural oils, but definitely not pee. Phew because I love mangoes. The big question, though, is why are things colorful? Well, in nature, colors are used to communicate with the world. Something like an apple sends a message out that it's super tasty and should be eaten. And it does this by showing off its beautiful color. In this case, red. The apple does this by absorbing all of the colors of the rainbow, except for red. Rays of sunshine also have red in them. So when they hit the apple, they reflect into our eyes and our brains see the color red. And then I get to eat the apple. Should I tell Eddie that's a prop apple made out of plastic? It's crunchy. It's good. Unfortunately, we can't mix an apple and an orange to make another color. But we can mix some paints to see what that would look like. For our experiment today, Jada and I are competing to see who can do the best recreation of this photo. And we'll be creating different colors on our human palette. Teddy the test dummy. Human palette? What are you guys talking about? We're gonna mix the colors on you. Ready, Teddy? Yeah, I'm ready. Artists, paint me. Okay, we have 10 minutes to complete our masterpieces, so let's go. To paint things right, it can take a huge amount of paint. So close to the color I want. Keep mixing. Is it like a massage? No. It's like a message. Teddy, take a bath. Paint fact. During the Roman Empire, if someone wanted to use purple in their paintings, it was a huge deal. It would take over four million crushed snails or clamshells to make one gallon of purple paint. All right, guys, your time is almost up. You only have two more minutes. Oh, two more <laughs> minutes? Paint fact. Certain colors are also great for your health. Scientists have found that spending time in a green-colored room can reduce stress and even relieve stomach aches. OK, guys, you're almost out of time, so oh, you better oh, finish up your no! paintings. Wait, 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 wait. I'm almost done. Whoever has the most lifelike picture of me will win an amazing prize. But you're almost out of time. You only have five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up. OK, our brushes are down and our paintings are finished. Now, whoever makes the most lifelike painting will go home a lucky winner. Let's see what we got. First, let's see what Jada did. OK, so? What do you think, Teddy? Whoa, it's really good. You're, you're a really good artist, but obviously you ran out of time and you weren't able to finish the hair on the top of my head. OK, I don't think so. All right, Eddie? All right, well, Jada, your painting was good, but uh, feast your eyes on this. Oh, wow, Eddie. Yeah, that's really great. And the winner is not you, Eddie. It's you, Jada. Jada's the winner. Yeah! Yay! Woo! Thanks, Teddy. Now we can do a whole new experiment. Yeah, let's see how hard the water pressure needs to be to clean all of this paint off of you. I think I saw a fire hose outside. 